All right, guys, we're back, and this time we're gonna finally get the double, uh, the double feeding for you guys. The California King Snake. He's 16 inches long, and he's currently eating two pinkies every five days. So here we go. First pinky, and he's. I don't know if you guys watched the last video, but he's going into a shed, so his eyes are not great. Come on, buddy. Now we'll feed him this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was the weakest little strike I've ever seen. He is not careful if he eats all that. You just can't see what he's eating is what it is. I love these snakes when they're eating though. <laughs> head first, bud, head first. So the next video that we do with his feeding, um, I'm gonna try to see if I can't go and get some live pinkies. So you guys can watch him. Uh, it depends, I guess, how far along he is in his in his shed. I'm gonna wait until he's finished with his shed, but then I'm gonna get some live ones. So you guys can watch the hunt because I personally think that's the best way to feed a snake. I know you guys are gonna get in the in the credits or in the comments section and tear me a new one for that, but that's just my my thought. I love this. You guys see his little face. He's going, going crazy. Look at them eyes. Just gnawing away. Yeah, he eats these little things pretty fast. Um Usually a couple of minutes and then we'll feed him he another one. the whole thing really fast. Yep, the whole thing, huh? Do you want to feed the next one to him? You do? Uh-huh. All right, well, let's wait for him to get this one down and then I'll have you do it next. Okay. Yeah, go wash your hands, Evelyn. I love how these snakes look. So right now, like I was telling you guys, we got them eating two of these pinkies uh, every five days. Hopefully once he gets past his shed, hopefully this shed, maybe next one, but hopefully once he gets past this shed, we can up a, uh, get him little fuzzies. And then... Uh, have him eaten one of those uh, every five days. I could tell the chicken. Well, we'll let him eat. And uh, just wanted to get back to you guys on this channel. So the idea of this channel is not strictly snakes. I know that's the only thing that we put on this channel so it far. Like but we do have a lot of animals. Um, we have bunnies, ferrets, um, obviously dogs, um, and fish, but we also have bearded dragons and we're going to get feedings for everything. Along with that, we're also going to get uh, just tips that we've gathered ourselves over having these animals and things that we've learned that might help you out if you're new to getting any of these animals because um, they are all different in their own ways. And even there's... What I've come to is that no animal has a set rule, so you got to learn how to adapt to get them to survive or how to get them trained in the way that you want them trained. Um, and bunnies are, are an awesome one for that because no two bunnies are the same. Um, litter box training for them um, to finding out what they like as their treat because not all bunnies eat the same thing. There's Every animal has a personality, so this channel is going to cover a lot of different animals and uh 
different personalities. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned and like everything, all the content that we're putting on this channel. So, and he's coming to the end of this first pinky, as you guys see. And then, uh, yep, I'm going to let my daughter do the next feed for him. Just give him a couple minutes, let him get it past, uh, let him get it a couple inches down. They're just so gnarly. Look at that face, guys. That's a face that not even a mother could love when he's eating. Mom, come see. <laughs> that looks like he had like a big giant head. Mm -hmm. Like a fat head. Yeah, like a little <laughs> fat head, right? All right. So he's got that one down. <coughs> I'm gonna wait for him to okay, push it down a little bit more. Cut it. Cut it and tie him with the scent of another one. And these strikes are pretty weak right now, guys. And it's obviously because he can't see what he's going at, so he just strikes after whatever he smells in the air. So it's not always that accurate. So I'm going to pause this video right here and let him get this uh, pinky down a little bit and then we'll come back for the next pinky. All right, guys, we're back and we're going to do the second pinky. As you can see, he's got that first pinky down about, I don't know, six inches. So this time my daughter is going to do the feeding for him. Let it go, baby. Boom. And now he's going to take the second one down. High fives, Evelyn. Boom. All right, get over on the side of the table. All right, Evelyn. What did you think about that first uh, feeding for the pinky? Look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go wash your hands. All righty, guys. So. That's pretty much it. We're feeding him these two every five days, and he's taking them down like a champ. Um, yeah, he's eating this one super fast. The pinky feels so weird. Mm-hmm. You're like... And he's at the end. Let's get these little legs in there. And that, my friends, is officially it. He has it 100% in him. And that's it. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Boom.